Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to part two of a uh, new colt start. On part one, we covered uh, how I set the horse up uh, for the initial um, ride. Okay. Um, so on this one here, we're going to put the pad on her and the saddle, which she has had in her initial ground training. Okay, like I mentioned in part one, it's a good 30, a good solid 30 days. So uh, I never really keep track, but I can tell you that uh, she, she is familiar with it. And then uh, I'll just show you here uh, how it goes. So with her right now, uh, there should not be an issue. So she's not like, you know, fresh, fresh, but none of my guys are. All my guys are used to uh, already of having the, uh, the pad and the, and the saddle on and traveling around uh, with it on. So uh, there's, it, it's not like a, what I would call an old, you know, cowboy style start. You know, not that there's anything the matter with it, but again, nowadays I like to make sure that uh, things are, are well with the animals. So uh, I just try to cover everything in the ground training to um, make this part of it uh, normal, okay? So I don't like, I don't want them to have any surprises about anything because there's already lots of things that can, you know, go, go with these guys. So, I like to just to keep things easy going, no big deal. If you scare them, then you've got to unscare them, okay? Stand. Stand. Good girl. So, each to their own on how they do things. But familiarity is always a, is always a good thing. And no, and no surprises. Keeps them, it keeps them calm. And that's essentially what we are, that we are after. So, when you put your cinch on, you want to make sure that the D-ring on the cinch, this piece right here, lines up in the center of the chest. So that way, that D-ring isn't rubbing into uh, the inside of the leg of the shoulder in here and causing any, causing any problems. So we'll just see how this goes. And when I put my, uh, when I put my, I like to make sure that the pads are covering the, uh, the shoulder well and truly and that the rigging on the uh, saddle on this first concho is just sitting just behind the muscle on the shoulder that way it's off and it allows that shoulder some uh, freedom of movement okay without without trapping that shoulder so I don't want to pat him up any more than I have to <laughs> looks like I'm going to have to Make that a little looser. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what that does. Good girl. So this is kind of, I like this with them, that they're patient because uh, they need to have patience. Good girl. Good girl. You know, just so they're, you know, so they can just sort of stay calm. You come over here and they just do it up a little, do that cinch up a little bit. Yeah, come on, come over here. Good girl. Ooh. So I just like to tuck, keep things nice and tidy and on the animal by tucking the, uh, the rigging in on the, on the cinch, if your cinch has that. Can you take a step back, please? Take a step back. Step. 
Ooh. Good. I want that shoulder and that, you know, that leg straight. So there's nothing, there's no skin, nothing trapped underneath if they're backed into it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Good girl. Okay. So you can see that she's pretty comfortable with everything and kind of looking over there and whatnot. So, which is always a good thing. And when I start these guys, uh, initially when I had her uh, going, uh, you know, introducing her to everything, I just left the halter on. So I can do that here just to kind of show you that I'll get them all tacked up and then I just let them off and leave the halter. So if we're looking at a brand new start again, depends on how you do your groundwork and how you set up for the ride. Okay, so we go again. So there's ask for movement. So for the first time, um, again, usually what I do is I walk them around with the saddle on with this lead rope, okay? One buck is one buck too many for me. So if they do buck, okay, but you want to take that buck away. So because I don't want them uh, disrespecting the saddle when it's on their back. They have to, uh, you know, uh, get used to that being there. So I'll just push this up a little bit. You can also do all this when you're introducing them to it so they can feel it on their back. Okay, we ask her to walk again. Walk. 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 Okay, and can you jog? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Nope, 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 that way. And jog. Uh-uh, go on. Yeah. Yeah. So that isn't isn't bucking about the saddle that's just friskiness i don't take that seriously at all there she's not really broken in two and, hard, and being hard on it come on like i said there's a communication issue here with me talking at the same time i'm showing you guys what's going on so normally you guys haven't got all that other stuff going on so so they'll tend to act up a little bit Come on. Good girl. So when they're quiet and everything's, you know, I let them know. Come on. That they're being good. Because you have to reinforce good manners. So you have to make things black and white. Come on. Chug. Chug. Good girl. Jug, 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 good girl. And can you lope? Lope, lope. Come on, lope. Good. Okay, okay, all right. And you can turn, 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 turn. Walk, 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 come on, walk. I'm just getting her to turn here. Good. And jog, jog. Good girl. Jog, 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 jog. Good girl. You want them quiet because when you go to get on their back, you want them at ease, okay? So if you get them all stirred up and they're all tough and like all tense and there's anxiety there, then it doesn't help things. 
So I'm just getting her just to move around so things kind of, the saddle and the pad and the cinch, everything kind of, you know, sets on the horse better. And then I will give the, give the uh, cinch strap another look, maybe pull it up another hole or two. And uh, so, come on, come on, jug, 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 jug. So, so it's, it's just there a little bit more. We'll see, it depends, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Okay, lope, 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 good, good, lope, good, 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 lope, 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 good, good girl. Okay, so the deal is, you know, I, I, we had, what, four, four or five transitions there, but, and then that's okay. So, was she quiet the whole time? Yes. And then that's what, you, what you're looking for. You know, whether you lope them on the first ride or not, that's, you know, that's up to you. Um, it just depends on how the horse is. What they do here and what you're, when you're on their back is a different thing. Now, again, in your 30 days or your 60 day groundwork, whatever it is that you do, um, you're going to have, you're going to have them saddled and you're, you're going to lean up on them. You know, you might even sit up on them, climb right up and sit and not go anywhere. Maybe, I don't know, get back down, but for sure you're going to lean up on them across the saddle, you know, pet the other side, rub your hands all over them, all that kind of stuff. And they're going to be a little bit, whatever, like this and, and looking, um, and, and, and graduate from there, okay? So your, one of your first sessions with that saddle, depending on how the horse takes to it, might only just be that. You might go up, lean up on them, you know, three times or whatever, and then go, okay, this is good, and the horse was quiet. Because you've got to kind of look at, at the disposition of the animal as to, as to how well they're taking it. If you go too much, you might, you might make them a little timid, kind of get them a little scared or something uh, again depending on the animal so if you can sit up on them and a lot of times I'll, I'll have somebody you know the they'll be clipped up and then somebody will be standing here so and she'll be doing this or whatever while you climb up this is if you got a buddy that around that you trust that uh, can kind of that has good horsemanship in them and can just kind of stand here and hold the horse while you get up this is another good way uh, another way is to is to lead line the horse while for the first time while somebody's you know sitting in the in the saddle okay that has good balance so it's not that you're really expecting anything crazy to happen but you know things can go a little weird sometimes so somebody has to kind of know something about sitting in a saddle okay and the guy on the ground needs to know something about leading a horse on the ground so but again, it's, it's not a big deal that you need to be super scared about, all right? So I can show you what we did. I just had her like this, and all I did. Now I don't have, usually I have a blue box, a little like a little jumping block, uh, the blue ones, and they're about yay high. And the reason why I do that is it, it, uh, it kind of gets you up on the saddle uh, more and you can lay across it or, or, or sit on them, um, but it stops you from pulling the saddle over uh, and pulling on their withers, okay? So again, all those little things, if the saddle slips or pulls or this or that, then they can kind of go, <clears throat> you know, and they'll hump up or whatever, or maybe shoot out sideways, all this kind of funny stuff. So um, she's, she's had that. Let me just, uh, instead of getting, come over here, kid. Yeah, come on. Come on. Good. Good. Turn. Good. Good girl. Okay. So we're just to get her to take a step back. The other foot too. Come on. Square up. Hang on. You take a step back. Back. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so 
we pulled it on, up another couple. So, you know, depending on how you do it and what you want to do, you know, you can be like this. You take the lead rope, put it over their neck. You've got hold of their face here, short line, and you can just kind of jump up and lean on them and hold them and then rub them on the other side here, which you guys can't see me doing, but she's got to kind of support my, my weight. Good girl. And then come off quietly. Good girl. Good girl. All right. So you can do that two or three times. You can see I've done this before uh, with her, but some horses from right from the get go are like this. Sometimes you can get on them with just bareback. It depends on the animal. Okay, but this is a good safe way, even if you're on a block, especially on a taller horse, you just have them here, you know, and then just come up on them and then just lean on them and lean right over and rub on them. Good girl. And then come off. Okay. And yes, it pulls the saddle over, but there's a compromise to how much uh, pressure you want on that cinch okay so you don't want to over cinch them because that can create problems and you meaning that they can go cinchy on you um, and they're not used to that kind of pressure so uh, uh, for me to have the saddle pull a little bit and she she's a bit you know mutton withered so she's a little bit low withered so of course the saddle tends to roll a little bit so when you have a horse that's like that anyway getting up on a block is usually a pretty good idea. Okay, so having covered that part of it, well then I just take a side pull hackmore. Okay, some guys will ride them in a halter, um, you know, the way she's set up right now. And you know, that's okay. There's nothing the matter with it. But for me, I like to start working on the aids a bit, especially if you've already taken the time to ground drive these guys and teach them direct rain left, right, you know? So uh, I just kind of jump right into something on their face uh, straight away. So, but, every, but anyway, everybody's, everybody's got their own thing. So there's no, nothing really wrong with anything. It's just how you're set up and what your program is all about. That's, that's the key, you know? Just make sure your program doesn't have any holes in it where, where it's gonna come back and bite you because you do not want to get injured with any of this. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, can I see your face? Oh. Take that out. Here we go. So they can be pretty playful when you're setting this up. So it's really important with the nose band that you have it up the nose into some bone, you know, on them. It's just so it's not down too low because you don't want to do them any harm because that's never, never a good thing. Uh, yeah. So, there we go. So, you know, you just kind of take your time. You're not in a hurry to do anything. I like to make sure everything's all just set up just right on them. And they need to be patient with you fiddling around if you want to if you want to call it that so they kind of understand that they have to have some patience by waiting on you as much as you have to wait on them okay so i'm just going to move her away come over here kid Come over here, kid. Come on, come, come. And if you're still not sure how things are going to work out, you can, you can uh, rain lunge them, you know, by just taking them out, walking them around, however it is you want to do it. 
This is, I do this a little bit as well. Just depends on what, on what you want to do. But my main thing with everything I do, the horse must stay quiet. You know, I don't want any, any, any big, you know, things going on. Okay? That's how I am. All right. Oh, let me just check this once more. There we go. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. So, good. So she wants to walk a little bit, and I'm just gonna just sit here. Just let her kind of get used to me if the saddle's off a little bit. Then uh, I will look at I'm making a little adjustment. There we go. Good, good, good. So I'll let her walk on. So you're going to want your reins a little tight now. I'm just going to open the door like I showed you and then just say walk on. Walk on. Yeah, oh I know peep. Walk on peep. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Just pull them off. There we go. Good girl. I'll give her a pet. All right, you're only looking for a couple of steps. You're nothing major here. If they do walk more, then that's fine. But it's not a competition about any uh, any steps, amount of steps. So you guys just have to bear with me with some of this stuff because I just take things for granted and I have to think about, well, how am I going to say some stuff? So we turn her again, walk on, walk on, walk on, walk on, walk. Walk, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, walk, good. And see if I get her to go the other way now. And mo make the step again, walk, 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 good girl, good girl, good girl, good. So she has to feel comfortable, you know, packing the weight um, on her back. Uh, making sure she's all balanced up and you need to kind of stay balanced yourself Walk on. Yeah, okay. We'll go walk 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 Good girl. How about this way? Can you go this way walk good and walk 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 good walk 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 good girl good girl and walk 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 Walk, turn, come on, turn, turn, and walk. Walk, walk. Now I'm just gonna see if I can get her to go forward a bit more. Good girl, walk, walk. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good. Good, walk on, walk, good girl. Good, 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 good. Now they can be a little wiggly. Walk, good girl, and you don't care how wiggly, come on, walk, 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 good girl, walk, 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 good girl, good girl, walk, 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 come on, walk, 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 good, 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 good. And you don't want to be pulling on the reins. Walk. Come on, walk. Good, walk. Walk. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Good, good, good. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Come on. Come on. Walk. 
Pull her off balance. Come on. Come on. Walk. Good. I'm having to bump on her a little bit here because she's a little sure of herself. Good girl. Walk. 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 Good. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Jog, jog, jog. See if I can get her to go a bit more. Jog, 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 jog. Come on. Jog. Good, 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 good. Now I'm going to sit back a little bit. Good. Don't really want them dipping their head too much. Come on. That's right. So you want to sit back. Good. Good. So when she's doing this, you tell her she's good, 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 good. Good girl. Once you got motion, keep it. Because you want her used to packing you. And I got my hand locked on the horn like, a, like I'm on a cutting horse. Elbow into the side of your hip. And I'm pushing forward on the horn, thumb on the top, and fingers wrapped around the horn. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Now I'm just bumping my legs on her just to kind of say hey and I'm already kind of teaching a rhythm. Now with this, with this, with, come on, come on, come on. Good girl. That's with this horse. Another one, maybe not so much. So you just have to play it by ear as to, you know, how things are with the animal, how excited they are. She's not overly excited. She's a bit of a confident little gal, which is okay. Let's see if I can get her to lope. Come on, lope. 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 Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Lope. Lope. Good. And lope. Lope. Come on. Lope. Good. <laughs> That's the first time for sure. So, <laughs> ba baby steps. Okay, see if we can turn her and turn, 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 and walk, 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 walk. Come on, walk, walk. Walk. Good girl. Walk. Good girl. Walk. Come on. Walk. Good. Good. And jog. 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 Come on. Come on. Jog. 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 Jog, come on, jog, good, jog, come on, come on, got my hand up slightly to the inside over the shoulder basically 
So that way, if she wants to dip her head for some reason, I got her head. I'm leaving that shoulder open on the inside for her to move forward. And here I'm just having to push her a little bit, which is okay. <laughs> And lope. Come on, come on. Lope. Come on. Get her going again. Trot, 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 lope. Come on. Come on, trot, trot, trot. Lope. Good girl. Okay. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. We just turn her and turn, 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 turn. Good. Okay, you guys, for the sake of this video and not running on too much and giving you guys, you know, a bit of an understanding, this is an easy start. I kid you not. Okay. When you have to, <laughs> you know, egg a horse on that much to drive it from behind to try and get it to stay up on your leg to move forward. That's a pretty easy start. You can get problems with horses like this if you're not uh, careful enough, meaning that if you don't get them going and get used to going when they uh, are a little bit soft in the start, then they're going to, you know, have a little bit of issue. Well, well, what do you mean you want me to go? Especially if you ride them too slow. Okay, so but today for the first time that I've ever sat on her um, and uh, worked her this way, I, I'm okay with everything. So the next time I get on, it'll be very, very similar to the same deal that you just saw, uh, but with emphasis on movement. Okay, but I have to say to you, as far as ground school work goes, it is the key, absolute key to getting these guys ready to go under saddle. All right. If you can develop a pleasure horse or pleasure gates on the wall, on the ground, in a round pen, and then climb up on top of them and then just ask for that jog and the horse goes straight into the jog for the first time ever you've ridden it, you know you've done your job very well. Okay, so every horse, does that work with? No, but you want to strive towards that perfection, if I can even use that word, but strive towards getting what you want. So you have a picture in your mind about this is what I would like this animal to be doing or what I see other animals doing. And that picture has to be firmly implanted and, and you need to take the, the, the necessary steps to get there of whatever your program offers because it's you that's doing it it's nobody else so just you know keep an open mind try things make sure you don't have any um, gaps in your training where you went oh doo! you know oh shit i should have done that uh, but it's not the end of the day you can still always go back to them okay and then redo it if you got a problem in the ride come down off the ride and then reschool your schooling on the ground. It's not a big issue, but don't, don't go too far with the unschooling part if things aren't working out. And this is where a lot of guys get in trouble, and this is where the horses get a lot of noise between the ears, and they start going, ha, 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 what do you want? You know, what do you mean? And uh, make sure, and this is where skill comes in, not just in physically doing it, but in your mental thinking. Make sure you follow through with everything step by step. Make sure that you know what you're doing as far as looking at something going, well, the animal needs this. I know that's easy to say uh, for sure, but just take your time. Don't, don't get carried away with things, okay? All right, hey, it's been a pleasure to be with you guys again. I got part one, part two on this Colt start, on this in like Flynn, all right? And you guys uh, hopefully take away whatever you want from it, but I'm still here safe and sound, okay? And the horse is, is still got a lot of expression and, and doesn't mind me sitting here, okay? All right, so don't abuse your ride. Just do what you gotta do to, to make things go correctly 
without getting crazy. All right, thanks once again. Have a good day. We will see you guys in the next video. Ciao. <laughs> yeah. Good job.